right, we have this adorable little battery charger that we're gonna use to test Greg's battery in his car. Welcome to the review, you guys. Today, we're doing a review of this battery charger. Go ahead and start going through the stuff. This product was sent to us in return for our honest review. I like how compact this is. Like, you could just keep it in your glove compartment if you wanted to. Greg just put a new battery in his car. We also have a dead battery we're gonna test this on to kind of show you guys the difference. This has a ton of options right now. Mm. So there's a battery test, a cranking test, and a charging test. So you can which, test your battery as it's charging or cranking today. your car. Yeah, so you can see here, it kind of tells you what to do while he's going to do that. It's going to beep at us. Check surface charge, turn lights on for about 10 seconds. So you turn your headlights on for 10 seconds and then turn your headlights off. I'm not sure why it wants us to do that, but follow the instructions. And it is beeping at us. It does. The door was open and the headlights Oh, okay. All right. So now we're going to continue on now with we're the process. Continue. Cause this one let us pick that the battery was in the car right because the next yes. one will be battery out of the car and then it's a regular regular flooded, flooded cca which most of that information will be yep. printed on your battery you're gonna have and to I'm, pick your amperage mm -hmm. this is a 650 watt amp battery and now it's testing i do like this one this one's really this cute this one is pretty cute okay what's that one so what's it battery say temperature above zero. Oh yeah we're above zero. Oh, so it lets you test it whether or not it's cold outside or warm outside that's kind of neat yeah, that is pretty neat uh oh. Uh oh. I know why. Why? Oh. So watch this. Let's do this again. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but this was not connected to a very good spot on the battery. So it I'm gave a, us yep, a I'm a test that said again. it was only what did it say? It was twenty seven percent. Twenty percent. Yeah. So there you go. Now you know the importance of making sure you have a good connection when you test the battery. That's super important. So we'll run through the test again and we'll see what it says this time. There we go. Oh. 93%. 93% shows all the information. Now let's go try it out on the uh, on the battery that we know is no good. Just to show you guys the difference. So this is the battery uh, that was in the car that Greg had replaced. So now we're going to test this one and it's going to let us choose that it's not inside the car. Again, you got to select all the same things. This battery is a little bit less amperage. We know it was 600 amps. So we're going to change it to that, run the test. It might ask us a couple questions before giving us the information what does it want to know before charge before or charge after. or after charge four so i'll do that it might ask us the temperature again too it might we don't know okay. and this one says let's get real close here zero yeah i think that battery's dead only 24 amps wow yeah that's, that's why the car wouldn't start that is why the car wouldn't start see and if you would have had this you would have known without having to replace the battery you'd have had to replace the battery anyway but yeah. <laughs> Uh, I like this one. I like that I it can like just it. fit in your glove box. Kind of nice and compact. It fits in my pocket. Yeah, we recommend this.